Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV, and this video is all about Volvo's all-electric Polestar 2. On February 27, 2019, Polestar revealed their Polestar 2, an all-electric sedan. I intended on doing a video review about this that week, but that was before Tesla revealed some bombshells, one of them being their $35,000 Model 3. Now that things have settled down, let's take a look at the Polestar 2 to see how the specs shake out. We'll start first with the performance. They're offering one battery option, a 78 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that results in 500 kilometers of range based off of the WLTP standard, or around 250 to 275 EPA rated miles. Their battery pack consists of pouch style battery cells, which consist of 324 of them, and collectively representing 27 modules with a cooling plate. It will be offered in both a single motor and dual motor option. That all wheel drive dual motor option will give you 300 kilowatts of power, which equates to 408 horses and 487 pound feet of torque. Some notable features of this car, it will have a Bluetooth phone key very similar to what Tesla does with their Model 3. It'll also have wireless charging options for your smartphone, up to 150 kilowatt charging rates, and a redesigned Android Auto version on a 12.3 inch driver display and an 11 and a half inch infotainment display, which includes apps like Google Maps, Google Assistant, and the Google Play App Store. It will come with the capability to receive over-the-air software updates, and one of the big strategies, in my opinion, is they're not going the dealership route, they're going direct to consumer. They will offer people interested in learning more about the Polestar 2, a retail experience with about 60 stores around the globe by 2020. They'll also, in addition to being able to purchase or finance the vehicle, they're going to offer a monthly subscription model, which will include things like insurance and any service needed for the vehicle. What will the Polestar 2 cost you? Well, they intend on offering a $45,000 starting price or about 40,000 euro, but they'll forego that option to prioritize the higher priced variants. Their initial launch edition is what they're calling it, will start at 63,000 US dollars or around 56,000 euro, and it will include the all-wheel drive 300 kilowatt option Pano glass roof, Weave Tech seats, and Harman Kardon sound. Production begins in February of 2020 for China, Canada, United States, beginning with California and Washington State, Sweden, Norway, UK, Germany, Netherlands, and Belgium. So here's what I like about the car. I'm really excited that they're leveraging Google software to enhance that in-car experience. In particular, I'm really glad that Google Maps has integrated charging stations into their Maps system. So you'll be able to easily tell where the closest charging stations are at in the Polestar 2 and how fast of a charging rate those stations actually have. I think that the in-car experience will be one of the best when comparing it to all other EV makers, including Tesla. The online sales model should fare very well for Polestar, and when I reached out to a Polestar representative about this model, he did indicate that it will be separate from their Volvo dealerships, thus circumventing all of the troubles and headaches that typically come with a traditional dealership. Their subscription model option, I expect to be a really popular one, let's say in three to five years. I think this may be a common thing that people will opt for, knowing how quickly technology, in particular electric cars, innovate and change and improve over a short amount of time. Though the Polestar 2 design is not a personal preference, I think it will appeal to a lot of people and all those that are very familiar with Volvo's design. This should be a very nice transition and carryover into the Polestar 2 brand. 
Much like some of the other traditional automakers, Volvo has done a really good job at carrying over some of those familiar features in their traditional lineup. For example, the Tour Hammer style headlights, the rear taillights, and then just the overall simplistic, minimalist design that Volvo tends to lean towards. Now onto the things that I expect to be a challenge for a Polestar. First one is the performance specs, and they're actually pretty good when you look at them on paper, but when you compare them to their self-admitted competitor, the Tesla Model 3, you begin to see a different story. The Polestar 2 has a 78 kilowatt hour pack, which they say will get you a targeted 275 mile EPA range. And I would not be surprised if that actually ends up being less to somewhere around 250 miles. The zero to 60 for that Polestar 2 is 4.7 seconds and a charge rate of 150 kilowatts with a third party charging network. The Model 3 long range all wheel drive on the other hand offers a 75 kilowatt hour pack that gets you 310 miles of range, a zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, a charge rate of up to 250 kilowatts and a proprietary charging network. In summary, I think the Polestar 2 is a very impressive vehicle in many ways. I think it's going to appeal to a very broad audience. The design style is extremely approachable and something that you would expect from a Volvo inspired car. And lastly, I think the fact that they integrated Google software into the in-car experience is an extremely strong play and will certainly give Tesla a run for their money in terms of in-car software experience. I am, however, holding my breath to see how consumers react to Polestar 2's specs, especially knowing that Polestar has self-admittedly said that their competition is the Model 3. Will the subpar performance specs in comparison to the Model 3 be a deal breaker for those that are considering the Polestar 2, or will those specs be close enough for people to make that decision to buy into the Polestar brand. Thanks so much for watching this video. I wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. And if you're new to my channel and watching one of my videos for the very first time, consider subscribing. If you're a regular, hit the like button and I'll see everyone on the next video.